Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review and a giveaway. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020 and it's my birthday. It's also bright, sunny and warm. So I couldn't bear doing an intro in the dark, cold basement on a day like this. So I'm out in the sun and the fresh air in my backyard, keeping my distance from my neighbors. Back off, buddy. I've got a pen. As I said, this is another fountain pen giveaway. I did say before that I do a giveaway every other Wednesday, but why wait? So today we're going to look at another of the five fully won fountain pens that Joel Terrell so generously donated for review and for me to give away. This time it's the fully won 826 in this beautiful orange and tasty acrylic. So let's dive into this yummy looking orange marmalade right now. <laughs> So here we are with the Fully Wen 826 in orange. The finish certainly reminds me of marmalade. Your lady marmalade. Okay, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry for toast. A toast! A toast! A toast! To what? To the toast. I love toast. A toast. I've cleaned the pen out with a little dish soap and some water and inked it up with Diamine Ancient Copper. Here is the card for Ancient Copper. I've heard a lot about this ink so far and it really lives up to its expectations. The ink shades really nicely in every single pen I put it in. Here are some other colors which are similar. This is uh, Robert Oster Astrakiza Rot and another equally unpronounceable name is J. Urban Carub de Chypre. Now what I want to do is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then do a writing sample. And don't forget to stay tuned after the writing sample when I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like about this fountain pen. Also, I'll give details about how you can win this very pen as part of the giveaway contest. Thanks again to Joel Terrell for providing this pen for review and to give away. So starting from the top, and no, I'm not going to do a cutaway of Julie Andrews singing ABC. Last time I did that, I had to re-edit the entire video because 10 seconds of The Sound of Music was enough for the deep pockets to demonetize me. So, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll sing it. Let's start from the very beginning, a very nice place to start. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, starting from the top. The very top, we see a domed chrome finial with what looks like a hinge on that clip, but it's actually an illusion. The clip is attached to the finial but is very, very stiff to the point where you can't even move it. Yeah, I can't even move it even with my guitar thumbnail. That's not good. It's very attractive, but uh, just not functional. The cap tapers up slightly to about here and then it flattens out. And then at the end of the cap, we see a, a curved chamfered angle down to a band it's like a mirror ball band at the top of the barrel and it's one of the more attractive features of this pen that faceted ring there then the barrel tapers down very very slightly until it gets to about here and then it type tapers a little bit more to a flat slightly rounded end of the barrel if you like blingy this is plenty blingy for you. You'd like this pen. This material, I'm pretty sure, is turned acrylic. And it is uh, fairly chatoyant. You can see the chatoyancy in various places here. And it's semi-transparent. Translucent, at least. You can see the nib and section in there and a bit of the converter. 
but uh, that material really has some nice depth to it. Very pretty. The cap snaps off to reveal a tapering black plastic section with a flared chrome ring at the end and there is a number five fully wen nib that is steel and it has a fully wen logo the name fully wen and an m for medium and i'll clear my throat <clears throat> and do my best david parker imitation and there's a look at the plastic feed that flare is not part of the snap cap mechanism because the snap cap snaps into that place right there and the end of the barrel. Just like that. I'm usually not fond of number five size nibs, but this nib is nicely balanced for this pen. It would look actually odd if there were a number six in this pen. I was able to remove the nib and the feed from the section, but I was not able to unscrew that uh, nib assembly right there. I believe it's glued in. While I had it apart, I was able to take a photo of it and show you the various pieces of the pen when disassembled while I was cleaning it. The cap posts very securely and deeply, and the pen becomes surprisingly well-balanced and very comfortable. And that's both posted and unposted. The section isn't slippery and is a good size. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Fully Wen 826 with a Parker Sonnet, a Pilot Metropolitan, a Visconti Van Gogh, and a Delike New Moon. Now let's look at them posted. So here they are all posted. This is the Fully Wen 826. You can see all of them have roughly similar number five size nibs. The uh, Parker, of course, is a little bit broader, but it is a number five. And the New Moon here does not post. It's one of the drawbacks of this pen. It is, uh, the cap does not post and it is too short to write with unposted, which kind of makes it useless for me. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be right back with a writing sample. Okay, we're back with the Fully Wen 826 fountain pen for the writing sample portion of the review. This paper is Clairefontaine 90 GSM. This pen actually comes in three colors, black with some gray swirls, a red, and this orange. And it's available for $11.50 plus $2 shipping from Bobby's Etsy store, Chinese Pen. And I just noticed just now that the orange is actually sold out on Etsy. But it's available on Bobby's eBay store as well, and uh, that is called Office Supplies Pen. So this is the Fully Wen. That hard start was my fault. I had the pen open to the air for a bit. 826. And this is a medium steel nib and the ink today is diamine ancient copper let's check the wetness It's a fairly wet pen. Again, I have not touched this nib at all. I just cleaned it out and put it back together again and put ink in it, and I've been writing with it for a couple of days now. As to line variation, that is no pressure, and it's a typically medium line. 
and a little bit of pressure, but it's a very stiff pen. Not unusual for a steel nib, and let's listen to it right. Not an unpleasant uh, writing experience. Nicely balanced pen. And as to reverse writing, it actually works very nicely. And as to some fast writing, That feed has no problems keeping up. So I've not touched this nib and it writes wet and relatively smooth. It isn't the best steel nib I felt and under my loop it shows a little touch of baby's bottom but I'll smooth that out with some micro mesh before I give it away. So there you have it. The Fully Wen 826 in Marmalade Orange. What do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, I was very pleasantly surprised by this pen. I thought I might not like it as it is a smaller pen with a smaller section and a number five nib. But it is substantial in the hand and the section isn't slippery and it is long enough that I get a comfortable grip and it posts beautifully. I often say I don't care about posting my pens, but there's something very satisfying about a pen that posts deeply and securely like that and makes the pen into a very balanced writing instrument. It's like the pen is complete. My Pilot E95S is very much like that with its sexy, smooth, just very silky smooth capping experience, its satiny smooth body. Oh my, this is becoming a harlequin romance here. <laughs> But even pens I'm not that fond of, when they post as beautifully and deeply as this Parker Sonnet does, it becomes a really lovely experience. So there's something visceral about that. That's very interesting, I think. Yes, I know this is a fake Parker Sonnet. I'm very well aware of that. But... It is a very good fake, actually, and mimics the real one very well. And it's a, for $10, it makes a nice comparison tool for me. I don't write with it, I use it for comparisons. I'm not fond of orange myself, but this is a very attractive finish. We'll see it again on another Fully Win giveaway pen really soon. And the pen is super affordable at around $13 US. So what do I not like so much about this pen? Well... The clip is horrible. Uh, it's attractive enough, but it's completely useless. And the nib is really kind of a so-so experience. Um, it doesn't thrill me, but uh, those are the only down things I can think about on this pen. And how can you win this lovely pen? All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel, identify the titles of the movies and or television shows of the cutaways in my video, and post them in a comment below before midnight Pacific Standard Time next Wednesday, April 29th. I will do a random draw and announce the winner in the community section of my YouTube channel. The winner will have exactly one week to contact me by email with their address and I will send their prize off in the mail. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification when new videos are posted. Good luck to all of you. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. <laughs>